imagine stepping into a world where your computer doesn't just sit on your desk, but surrounds you, interacting with you with what you see and touch. This is the magic of spatial computing, a kind of wizardry that blends our physical world with our digital universe. It's like wearing a pair of magical glasses that lets you see and manipulate digital objects right in your living room or dining room. Computing? <clears throat> um, yeah, this one, I wanted to talk about spatial computing. Um, and uh, it probably sounds a little weird, but... Uh, you know, right now we're in that moment where ChatGPT is taking over. People are on all sorts of AI for this and that. And in this very moment, um, those uh, those VR glasses are going nuts. Um, everybody's uh, <clears throat> everybody's buying those. When you look at what they're doing, the functionality of them, it's amazing. And this is just the very beginning. So. I started looking into that a little bit and I heard about spatial computing and what it what it could mean and what it's going to lead to for us in, in the world of computers. So rather than just read off a bunch of uh, stats and, and data information, <clears throat> I'm going to put it into a little bit more of a story mode for you. So uh, let me read it, though, but uh, it'll sound better. Imagine stepping into a world where your computer doesn't just sit on your desk, but surrounds you, interacting with you uh, with what you see and touch. This is, ma this is the magic of spatial computing, a kind of wizardry that blends our physical world with our digital universe. It's like wearing a pair of magical glasses that lets you see and manipulate digital objects right in your living room or dining room, <clears throat> uh, whether you're driving uh blah 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 but this kind of this kind of uh makes me think of the movie free guy in, in a sense you know right now those vr glasses are this massive thing you put on your face but eventually they're going to be <clears throat> they're going to be small just like this but let me continue Burr. in this enchanted realm your devices can understand and map the world around you turning your surroundings into a playground for digital adventures. With the wave of a hand or a simple voice command, you can bring digital creations to life, interact with them, or even change them in real time. This isn't just about playing games or watching movies in a more immersive way. It's about changing how we learn, create, and connect with each other. Whether it's doctors performing surgery with augmented reality to see inside a patient, Okay. Architects walking through their buildings before they're <sighs> even built, or you and your friends exploring virtual worlds together. Spatial computing is opening up doors to new worlds where <clears throat> the, the the only limit is our imagination. So, <clears throat> you know, I hope that can put it into a little bit of perspective, but imagine sitting on your train ride to work mm -hmm. and, you know, you just pop your glasses on. And the whole, everything you can see is essentially your screen and, and what you're working off of. So uh, I think the part about doctors performing surgery, you know, just imagine what that is. The doctor can be looking down at the body, seeing internally through using the glasses for what he has to work on and just glance up and have the journal or the written procedure in front of him that he can reference yeah. as it's yeah. going. You know, there's just so much there. And just that note, actually, like yeah. there. So for medical schools, I know from going to conferences that there's always been different anatomy products for training, you know, medical students. And I know there was talk about an augment an AR uh, anatomy app, essentially. I don't know. Like, I didn't look into it. It wasn't something that like we would have purchased, but it was something that was supposed to be like that sort of idea already but not with goggles it would just be through like an app like that but i assume that that would be something that would be very useful for if they had glasses like that and at that stage <clears throat> yeah i heard i heard another guy talking about this as well and he mentioned um specifically about you know students or people let's say a mechanic um working on a car engine and you're looking at the engine and you can see all the parts and you can see that you know what you have to change or repair how to do it right in front of you while you're working so <clears throat> i think it's going to be great for learning and i think it's going to change a lot of things and with how fast paced technology moves 
you know, that big helmet VR thing where, that everybody's got right now. <laughs> people, people look ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah people yeah. do look silly. Slow down a little bit. Slow down a little like, bit. But. You but, know, it did. It gave me like a little dystopian future <clears throat> vision of everybody wearing stupid headsets walking around if it gets affordable <laughs> enough. Because well, if I could afford it, I'd probably buy it and try it. Yeah, but that's like the that's like the flip phone version right now. You know, people mm-hmm. those are gonna be in, that's the those are gonna be phones? in your oh, Gucci frames okay. in ten years from now. That headset thing it's is gonna, gonna be, gonna be in your lens. contact oh, it's lens. Gonna, oh, that's it's what gonna get smoked. That's what I think. Put it right in my vintage frames. So, How expensive <clears throat> will that contact lens be? Ooh, will it be? Okay. A, can the regular person afford it, or will it be like a four thousand dollar? Do I really need four thousand dollar headsets? Well, walk I don't. I, I, I think get this like it way easier. I think you know whatever the price point that your iPhone is at, maybe a little above that. I mm. be, you know just mm. you could get it on a monthly plan. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this could be one of those. Monthly plan too. Be be one of those. Makes sense. It does make sense like that. The Amazon kind of subscription, subscription uh, model. Then all the apps are also. Free but yeah, so replace your Netflix. <clears throat> as far as that, that's why you know I heard the term spatial uh, computing. I saw a couple clips from people talking about it, and uh, I just think that is going to be the wave of the future. And also something to look out for, maybe for investors, you know, for people who are looking for places to put your stocks. But pow, you, you didn't hear that from me. That's just a complete wild guess. Can you dig it? You're listening to TFP, the fans' perspective.